uh, thanks for attending this young lunch from Nanyang Technological University. Today, I would like to present you with our effective and scalable clustering algorithm for large-scale attributed graphs. Mm. This is a joint work with Hong Kong PolyU, HBKU, and NUS. Here is the outline for today's presentation. First, I will present the definition of our studied problem, followed by uh, an overview of existing work to use. Then, the challenges of the problem will be listed. After that, I will show some uh, objective function, uh, show our objective function to solve the problem, followed by uh, introducing our purpose as a main algorithm for solving it. Finally, some interesting experimental findings will be shared. Given an attributed graph G with node set V, attribute set R, H set E V, and node, associ node attribute association set E R, as well as the uh, desired number of clusters K, K AGC problem aims to split the node set V into K disjoint subsets, uh, say C1, C2 to CK, such that First, nodes in the same cluster are close to each other, and the nodes in the in two clusters are distant from each other. Second, nodes in the same cluster share similar attribute values. For example, given a social network, each node is a user and each age represents a friendship. We can see from the red part, K in a KHC problem, we aim to group users that are uh, PhDs work, in, uh, work at IBM as well as have close friendships to each other as a cluster. There exist numerous previous work to KAGC problem, which can be mainly categorized into four categories. The first one is age weighted based. This method weight each age in the attributed graph G where the similarity of two ending nodes attributes. Then they apply class graph clustering techniques on the weighted graph to generate uh, clusters. However, they try to capture the multi-hope uh, proximities and attribute similarities uh, be between two nodes. Uh, thereby suffering from uh, inferior clustering quality. The second mass strategy constructs a distant, a distance uh, matrix M to capture the multi-hope uh, topology proximities and attribute similarities between all node pairs, and then employ a k-means algorithm on the matrix M to obtain clusters. Then, uh, require unscored time and space overheads. Thus, fail to process large scale attributed graphs efficiently. Note that n is the number of nodes in the graph. The third category of methods are based on probabilistic uh, models, which involve a large number of parameters and uh, an expensive optimization process. They cannot scale to large scale data size either. The fourth category of methods are embedding-based. They learn an embedding vector for each node such that the embedding can capture the topology and the attribute information surrounding the node. After that, k-means algorithm is again applied, applied on the embeddings to generate uh, clusters. This method is yield suboptimal uh, clustering quality due to that they are not specially designed for clustering purpose and they highly rely on the embedding quality. Therefore, we face uh, several challenges to solve KAGC problem. First, we need a measurement to quantify the quality of clustering results, which can also guide us to derive our our objective to cluster. So this object, objective should take into account the multi-hope topology uh, proximities and attribute similarities between all uh, node pairs, which, uh, which can improve the clustering quality as confirmed in previous work. Uh, second, we need to avoid quadratic uh, materialization 
overheads as well as substantial uh, parameters and the expensive optimization process. Mm. Next, I'd like to introduce our attribute random work model for capturing multi-hole topology uh, proximities and attribute similarities between nodes. Let's consider an ARW, short for attribute in random work, from a node, VI. Then at each step, the ARW stops at the current node VJ with the probability, probability of or with the other one minus r for probability, the ARW with probability bet jumps to a node VL where an attribute with probability PR VJ VL. Note that the PR VI VL is a normalized attribute similarity between VI VL, where R, where R VI is the, is the attribute vector of node VI. With the other one minus beta probability, the ARW jumps to an alternate node VL or VJ, or current node VJ, with probability PV, VJ, VL. Note that PV is the weighted adjacency matrix of graph G. PV, VJ, VL is the, is the normalized weight of uh, H, VJ, VL. If there is a no H, uh, connecting these two nodes, the value is then zero. After doing some math, uh, the probability of an ARW from VI to VJ actually can be computed as SVIVJ by this equation. Uh, we see that ARW well combines the multi-hope topological proximities between nodes with the multi-hope attribute similarities between nodes. Obviously, it's a high cost to compute S, which is a quadratic uh, time and space. Uh, classic uh, graph clustering methods use conductance to measure the quality of a cluster C. Uh, the cl conductance of cluster C is essentially the ratio of H crossing the cluster C and other clusters. We know that it only consider one hope ages. Inspired by this, we define the average attributed multi-hope conductance. The attributed multi-hope conductance is defined as the expected portion of attributed random works escaping from the cluster C. If we conduct a large number of random uh, attributed random works from nodes in in the C is cluster C. Then the uh, AAMC is short for the average attributed uh, multi hope uh, con conduct uh, conductance of all cluster in this graph. Consider the right hand side example. Each black nodes are users and the blue nodes are attributes. Black edges are friendships and uh, blue edges are node attribute associations, meaning this user has uh, this attribute. Observe that user V4 has multi, multi mutual uh, friendship uh, ships with users V2, V3, and shares three common attributes with users V2 and V3. Intuitively, V2 V3, V4 should be in the same cluster compared to other nodes in the graph. And the left-hand side clusters are better than the right-hand side. However, if we use classic, classic conductance as a measurement of, of clustering quality, it suggests that the right-hand side ones are better, which is counterintuitive. In comparison, AAMC gives the desired result and thus is more effective. Therefore, we formulate our objective function to AGC problem, to AKAGC problem based on AAMC. Namely, we aim to find K disjoint clusters that minimize the AAMC. 
again after doing some math the problem is transformed into a mathematical form which aims to find uh, a k times n in the k-term matrix y minimizing the trace of the matrix products as shown in the formula uh, for each node the VJ, there, there, there is only one entry among k dimensions can be one, and other entries are all zeros. Directly solving the objective is can be hard. Hence, we tend to solve a relaxed version. That's that is, we do not require y being an indicator matrix anymore, and replace the y related part via a matrix F. We proved that the relaxed objective is optimal when matrix F is the is the top K eigenvectors of matrix S, which means we can first find the top K eigenvectors of S and then find an indicator matrix Y such that the uh, replace the Y related part uh, can approximate the matrix F well. More specifically, the second uh, step is to solve the objective function as shown in the bottom formula. In order to find the uh, matrix F, the, namely the top K eigenvectors, the straightforward way is to compute the matrix S first, and then compute the top K eigenvectors of S as F. Recall that the computation of S involves quadratic time and space overhead. This is highly inefficient. However, we can prove that F is equivalent to the top K eigenvectors of the linear combination of PV and PR. PV is the weighted adjacency matrix of uh, graph G. The matrix PR can be decomposed to the, into the inner product of two O-dimensional attribute uh, matrix. As a result, by applying orthogonal iterations, we are able to find uh, the top K eigenvectors F iteratively in linear time and space. With the top K eigenvectors F, we can find Y, namely the clustering result, using an alternative uh, optimization process, which runs in linear time. To summarize, uh, the AC main algorithm runs iteratively in each iteration. It first computes an approximate top K eigenvectors F, and then based on it, it can piece an approximate cluster result Y. After that, ASMIN checks if the current Y achieves a better AMC score compared to the current best result. If yes, it updates Y as the best result. Then it enters into the next iteration. We experimentally evaluate the efficiency and the clustering quality of proposed AC mean against 10 competitors on six data sites, including small and large attributed graphs. We observe that AC mean outperforms other methods by up to orders of magnitude faster when varying the number of clusters k from 5 to 100. Especially ACB is the only method that is able to process MAG data side with, within two days. We use the node labels in the attribute graphs as the ground choose the clusters and compute the accuracy and MI scores of all methods. It can be observed that ACB consistently achieves the best performance. In terms of the class, uh, clustering matrix without uh, ground choosing clusters, namely modularity and our proposed AMC match, we observe that ACME is still the best method. Uh, thanks 